Shalom, Shalom, call lawyer, like Yahweh like Bahashan, Yahweh Shai Bahashan, Mechakwadash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means He is or He is this, in Ha is the, Sham is name, of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which means He says that He delivers when you call upon your Lord and Savior, you must say Yahweh Bahashan, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Shalom wa khasala habakiyar, which is peace and mercy to the elect. I'm your fellow servant, I'm Yadia. I represent the GMS branch here in Cleveland, here to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, you people of Negro and in Indian descent, as well as the Israelite foreigners. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth from on the heathen sea, we say Shalom out of one Ratazah, but now Ratazah, this is an edifying lesson. Uh, it's a quick lesson. I got a quick article. Just want to, um, you know, filter it through the scriptures and speak about, uh, uh, you know, that situation that's going on in Sri Lanka and also the situation that's going on in China because the article is speaking specifically about the situation in China. All right. And basically what's going on, what's happening, you know, in these other countries, which is going to come over here to America. Right. In the near future. OK, is a uh, something known as a bank run or a run on the bank, which a bank run or a run on the bank occurs when many clients withdraw their money from a bank because they believe the bank may cease to function in the near future. And that's 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 the spirit because these banks will cease to function. All right, the the um the way that people are used to them functioning, right? Because it's gonna be a a a, a, a transition from physical currency to, to digital currency. So therefore you won't need any bank. All the money and things like that you know, money and and transit, which was that's already going on now. Transits, transferring funds, and you know what I'm saying, and depositing money. You could do it all electronically, right? So these banks and these different, you know, uh, uh, World Bank and you know the the, the, the IMF, all these different uh, useless organizations, they're gonna cease to exist. They're gonna cease to function, man. <clears throat> okay, because pursuant to the scriptures in Revelation 13 chapter, it talks about a um um. A mandatory implementation, right? And no man may buy or sell, save he that had the mark, roughly paraphrase, or the number of the name. Here's wisdom, right? Where's the number of a man? Okay, going into the chai size stigma, right? So, um, right, these banks, they will cease to function in the near future, man. Okay, they go, they will be no more banks, right? And that's all according to the biblical prophecies found in the Holy Scriptures, man. And and that's all going on because this the, the Heavenly Father is about to translate the kingdom from one people to another. See, you you so you you so called white people with your biblical nationality, you are the Edomites, man. Uh 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 um Right, we're just pursuing to uh, the in the Apocrypha, uh the second edges, I believe the sixth chapter, where it talk about Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So that's the time that we're entering into. We're entering into the end of Esau's world, okay? And it's beautiful, right? Because we know the prophecies. We know, uh, uh, and, and what is a prophecy? Basically, a prophecy are the thing, these, these scriptures, right? But the word prophecy basically means a foreshadowing of things to come. Oh, right. So that's beautiful. A bank run. That, that's a this is a foreshadowing of things to come to the shores of America, man. OK, and we're rejoicing that the, the you know, these bank runs, you know, you know, the collapse. Right. Because the like I said, these are all the prophecies and the heavenly father said, uh, 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 no one jot or tittle, you know, roughly paraphrasing. I think it's in Matthews. The, uh, what is that? No jot or tittle shall pass away till all be fulfilled, basically. I'm, I'm butchering it, Salakia, right? So all these things that's found in the Holy Scriptures, they have to be fulfilled down to the to the, to the to the smallest jot or tittle. And when you go into the word jot, it goes back to the Hebrew word yah, which is the smallest character in the, in the, in the, in the Paleo-Hebrew, okay? So, hey, Lord willing, I'm making sense. But, yeah, it's a bank run going on in China. It's a bank run going on in Sri Lanka, and I seen some situation with uh uh, uh who who else was it? Oh, London, they having a problem with their money, right? They said that uh the U.S. dollar and the the, the uh the European money, which I think is what is it, the pound, they're they're in parity, meaning they're they're basically neck and neck, so to speak, man. So um, 
Yeah, it's a bank run going on, right? And that's the site. See, when it comes to America, people going to get violent, especially these Edomites. In the article that I'm going to read about, you know, I'm going to jump around, but I'm in the article uh, about the, the one in, that's happening in China as we speak, right? It was a dude, he lost $576,000, man. And that's, that's, that ain't no chump change, you know, you know, for the, for the average person. Yeah, he had a business and all that. He couldn't even pay his employees, man, okay? Because all these different banking systems, they're interconnected with the uh, 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 the World Bank. The, you know, these Edomites, basically, right? So, um, hey, man, look, we, we, we're celebrating. We're, we're rejoicing because we see the Heavenly Father uh, uh, pursuant to what? Micah, the seventh chapter, uh, uh, executing judgment, right? We, you know, we, are bared, we bared the indignation of the Heavenly Father, the righteous anger of the Heavenly Father, us going through slavery, you know, and even to the fact that us waking up and some brothers more than others still catching hell. But every, you know, brothers catching, they, you know, they tailor made hell that the Heavenly Father want them to go through, man, right? But like the scripture I quoted, Micah the seventh chapter around the ninth verse, we bear the indignation, you know, to the heavenly father start to, to, to plead our cause and execute judgment for us. And this is an example of the heavenly father executing judgment for us. These different bank runs in these different countries, Sri Lanka to be one, and, and most recently China, right? So I'm going to just read a little of the article. Um, and pursuant to the scriptures, what is that, James, like the fifth chapter, it goes into how that, um, what is that, James, the fifth chapter, talk about how your gold and silver is canker and corrupted. When you go into the word corrupted, right, it basically means to be uh, 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 made unreliable through alterations and errors. See, the money system in this society is unreliable. The dollar is not backed by anything, right? Okay. And, um... And the dollar is the world reserve currency, which means when these different uh, 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 countries, when they go to purchase oil, they have to convert their currency into uh, to American currency, man. You know, so it's it's all it, it's it's hey, man. This is a this is a significant thing that's taking place, and a lot of our people they fucking they don't know what's going on in China. They never heard of Sri Lanka, man. They don't know what a bank run is, you know, and that's all praises to the Heavenly Father. You know, for setting up pastors, you know, that's teaching us according to his knowledge, Jeremiah the third chapter, man. You know, that we able to, you know, because cause we watching pursuant to the scriptures. We supposed to watch, man. So we watching these different prophecies take place. All right. So that way we don't get, you know, caught off guard. And that's what's going to be with two thirds of our ego get caught off guard. Right. Because everybody's celebrating talking about the gas prices going down is under four dollars in Cleveland. Hey, but I, like I told the brother the other day, I said, man, this time when the gas prices go up, it ain't going to come back down. Lord willing, you know, we pray to the Heavenly Father, our spirit grown up within us. We, we, you know, our spirit is, even when we don't say these things, you know, physically, our spirit is praying to the Heavenly Father that these things happen like that, man. So this is the article, right? Um, and that's beautiful, bro, because when you read Jeremiah, I believe it's the 48th chapter. It goes in about these damn these 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 Moabites, right? These so-called Chinese people, which their biblical nationality is is uh, Moab, right? Moabba, if I'm not mistaken, in the Hebrew, man. But these these Chinese people, they've been living fucking good right along with this devil. Cause when you read Revelations, uh, the 18th chapter, it talk about the the, the, the it, it, they dealt in pleasure. Matter of fact, let me get it. Let me get. I'm quoting scriptures. Uh, let me get. I'll get Jeremiah first. Yeah, Moab has been at ease since his youth. That's what the scripture says. So you Moabites, y'all been at ease since y'all youth. See the heavenly father, and he ain't been empty from vessel to vessel. You Moabites, y'all go start making, y'all make a lot of money off the backs, all right, off the blood, sweat, and tears of the Israelites, man. Okay? Y'all one of the mating, uh, so I can't say mating. Y'all are one of the major uh, um, exporters to the U.S., man, of different goods, whether phone, shoes, apparel, to the, the electronics, you know, whatever it is, right? So this Jeremiah 48, I'm going to just read a couple verses and I'm going to read some of this article. I ain't want to make this too long. I'll remember, Lord willing, to put the article in the description box. Uh, So this is um uh Jeremiah 48 and 11. It says, Moab have been at ease from his youth and he had not, so like, and he, 
have settled on his leaves. Yeah, you 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 demons got comfortable, man. Cause these demons really think that they're gonna be up next after the after the you know after America be destroyed and consumed and desolate. They believe they go you dealt you demons already got a chance to rule over the Israelites. Y'all go which y'all are you know what I'm saying? Even now y'all are ruling over the Israelites. Y'all get better, y'all get loans. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get, you know, certain government, you know, uh, uh, grants and things of that nature that the Israelites don't get. But you demons, you all already ruled over us. When you go back into the book of Judges, you know, our forefather Ehud, the heavenly father, raised up Ehud to, to smoke that fat devil in the summer parlor. Stabbed his ass with a fucking, uh, what, what, how, I think the blade that he had was 18 inches, man. And stuck the handle in it. All the dirt came out, the secretion, the fucking, the, you know, gut shit and all that, man. So you, you, you demons, you Chinese, you Moabites, y'all already ruled over us for 18 years, man. Right? Okay? And the Heavenly Father didn't judge y'all. Oh, going back to you devils putting that curse upon, trying to put that curse upon us. But the scripture said there is no enchantment against Jacob. You Moabites, y'all gonna get it too, man. It says, um... And have not been empty from vessel to vessel, neither hath he gone into captivity. Therefore, his taste remained in him, and his scent is not changed. You know? And I just wanted to read that verse. Uh, damn, it's lucky. I just wanted to read that verse real quick. I'm going to read some of this article, and I'm going I'm to wrap this up, man. Oh, yeah, I wanted to read Revelation. Because these, 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 these are Moabites. We read Psalms the eighty third chapter. They talk about the the Moabites, man. They they are enemies. They're complicit with our arch enemy Esau, Edom. So this Revelation eighteen and um uh, is it? I'm thinking of Revelation eighteen. It might not be. Let me just read this. It said, China crushes mass protests by bank depositors demanding their life savings back. Chinese authorities on Sunday violently dispersed a peaceful protest by hundreds of depositors who sought in vain to demand their life savings back from banks that have run into a deepening cash crisis since April. Four rural banks in China, central Henan province, have frozen millions of dollars worth of deposits, threatening the livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of customers in an, ec in an economy already battered by draconian COVID lock lockdowns, man. You know, um, I'm going to just read. Uh, on Sunday, more than 1,000 depositors from across China gathered outside the Xinjiang branch of China's central bank, the People's Bank of China, to lunch. Their largest protest yet, more than half a dozen protests told CNN. All right, so let's, I'm going to just read now, because uh, this is, a you know, kind of like a lengthy art, art, art article. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, yeah. Uh, it says, across the street, it's like a large portrait of late Chinese leader Moi Zendong was pasted on a pillar at the entrance of the bank, across the street, hundreds of police and security personnel, some in uniforms and others in plain clothes, assembled and surrounded the site as protesters shouted, gangsters at them. <laughs> you better believe it, man. Because the that's what the police and the paddy rollers were set up for, to, to protect the interests of these, these elites, man. Okay? Right? Um... It says a banner in Chinese reads 400,000 depositors dashed their Chinese dream in Hinnom. All right? So, um, as, oh, 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 this dude, he was talking about not believing in the government no more. Let me see if I can get, and, and that's the thing about it, man. The government is corrupt. Scripture talk about that in Psalms, the 73rd chapter. They, you know, they are corrupt and they uh, uh, speak lawfully concerning oppression. So all these governments, they're in a confederacy together to rule over the people. See, the thing about these Edomites and they and they going to have these other their pupils, these other heathens, you know, because Scripture say that in the book of Psalms, the second chapter, they set themselves together, roughly paraphrasing, meaning they established themselves together. You know, the, the, you know, the elites of the heathens, you know, the elites of the heathen as well, man. So, um, uh, let me see the part where he was talking about the government. Uh, 
Let's lock you. And I'm going to just wrap it up after this, man. Like I said, it was a quick, quick lesson I wanted to speak on. Put the article in the... Um, yeah, here it is. It says, uh, Son from Shenzhong is struggling to keep his machine factory from bankruptcy after losing his deposit of 4 million yuan, you won 597,000 to Henham Bank. He can't even pay his more than 40 um, employees without the funds. Sun said he was covered in bruises and had a swollen lower back after being repeatedly stomped by security cars at the protest. The incident completely overturned my perception of the government. And that's what it is. People, a lot of people are coming to this realization, even people over here in America. You know, not you, you know, two-thirds of you niggas, like Tim, name is Seminole Indians, but these other heathens, they come into the realization, right? They, they, they perception about the government is, 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 is rapidly changing, man. That's why you see it's it going, oh, you got the, uh, what's that shit called? Those zoos in Boston, right? You got these different militias, these different organizations. They And you even got a channel on YouTube, and the name of the channel is a call for an uprising, man. So, and that's all prophetic, too. That's all in the Holy Scriptures. It says, I live all my life placing so much faith in the government, and that's what's wrong with people today. They put their trust in the government. When that scripture, and who's in control of the government? Men. And the scripture clearly tell you to put not trust in, in man, right? Cursed is he that trusted in man. So these people are cursed anyway, man. You know, trusting in these things. Put not confidence in a, in a prince, right? You're supposed to trust in the heavenly father. First and foremost, you, you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, never Seminole Indians. It said, after the day, I will never trust it again, he said. And that's how the article ended, man. You know, so... This was just a quick, quick lesson, man. I pray that I pray this is edifying. I want to give all glory on the praise. It's called Loyam La Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Echach. That's the honesty of the apostles. That was a great millstone. Ruel Shalom. Ba'chasala Habakiyar. Mu'afla Ba'ashem Shalom.